All righty, we're tracking the weather this morning. Weather Authority and meteorologist Mike Brookins is standing by with a look at your forecast, Mike. Frankie, that muskrat had the right idea. Keep it cool by jumping in some water. And today, we're going to be above average, not in the 90s. Let's take a recap, though, of where we've been this year. The hottest so far, 95 degrees. In a typical year, we see seven or eight times, I should say. We've seen it seven times so far this year. Now, the record was back in 28 days back in 1955. Last year, we had 15, so we're actually a little bit behind where we were last year. And there's some stats on heat waves as well. Our allergy alerts, what has you sneezing? Really not a lot. It's held in check. The weed and grass pollen right now, low categories. Next weather maker, still really a few days away. We're dry in central New York. We're just going to be pumping in over the next two days, higher heat and humidity. Sunday afternoon, a better chance Monday afternoon for a few showers and thunderstorms. Going over the seven-day forecast, today is my pick day. It's mostly sunny for Syracuse. Some of the outlying counties may see some additional cloud cover billow up with a very low chance, less than 5% of our viewing area seeing a brief isolated shower this afternoon. A little bit more humidity, but it's not unbearable today. 87 degrees, really a nice summer day. 89 degrees for the next three days. So it looks like no cigar as far as those 90 degree days, but we'll find increasing humidity. And by Monday, the heat index will be 95 to 100. Saturday's mostly dry. A few showers and thunderstorms Sunday afternoon. A few more on Monday, a few on Tuesday. The highest rain chance now looks to be shifted to Wednesday. That'll lower the humidity and temperature towards next Thursday, guys.